Redeem, for a guy who's won a championship, uh, what is the most important thing on it for a team to remember heading into a playoff uh, in the first round? I mean, the first, uh, first is always important. The first game, I think we have to we have to have a pace and be physical and uh, dictate the game and uh, how we want to play because we we got a opportunity to play home. We got two home games, so yeah, that's a big that's a big t thing for us. And uh, yeah, I think I hope we'll we'll, we'll have a good start in the, in, the, in the first game. Has it been tough uh, having a, a week and a half off uh, prior to that first home game, and and how has that week of practice been? Yeah, I mean, everyone wants to play. Not everyone wants to just practice for ten days, so uh, it was uh, hard, like mentally, not physically. But uh, I think we we need that because we didn't have a good last 10, 15 games before uh, before end of the season, and uh, I think we are good right now. What's your favorite part about the playoffs? Just playoff. I love that, you know, like uh, the emotions and the physicality, everything. Fans are crazy, so. What's been your favorite part about being on this team? I mean, the, uh, the staffs here, the players are, guys are unbelievable. Uh, it's, in a, it's a great organization, you know, and a great city, so I'm just enjoying to be here. You have a lot of experience. Do you ever get nervous on these big games still, or are you, like, locked in? No, I'm. I think I'm not that that then young enough uh, anymore. So maybe a little bit, but not not that bad. Logan, ten days of practice uh, now over. Uh, how has the week gone, and how did this one go? I honestly, I thought it was really good. I thought you know from the first couple of days, I'd say we kind of started slow, but you know it felt like we had a long time between games, and then the last. You know, five days. It was we amped it up, and everyone's kind of competing. It's, it's. It, I think it's been an awesome atmosphere, especially to if you go so long without games. It, you know, it could be again human nature to just kind of sit back and you know just wait for a game. But I think you know every practice so far, the guys have been competing, guys have been working, and uh, it's a playoff-like atmosphere right now. These guys, you look at this practice today, they look ready for tomorrow. They they look like they're chomping at the bit a little bit here. Do you get the feeling that that's the case? Yeah, I mean, obviously we've had a long time off, like we said, but I think uh, if we play simple the first period, you know, we just don't just take care of the puck and, um, you know, make sure we get our legs back underneath us. But I, you know, I, I'm happy with how we've been working, how we've been practicing. Um, some guys have never had a taste of playoff hockey yet, and, you know, it's okay to have the butterflies. I mean, this is 10 years for me, and I'm still going to have the butterflies tomorrow night, but it's, you know, it's a good thing. It's, it means you care. It means you want to win. You want to play in the right time of the year. Is there anything you'd say to maybe the young guys who haven't had the experience, or is it just like there's going to be butterflies that happens? Yeah, enjoy it. I mean, you're going to be, if you're nervous, it's okay. Uh, just like I said, take care of the puck. The rest, you know, the rest will fall into place. Uh, I remember my first one. It was just you know, every every year, it's the first 20 minutes is just try to get into it and you know try to be physical, try to get involved in the game, and um, the rest does take care of itself once you kind of settle into it. Meyer was saying yesterday, like with the pressure, he loves the pressure. What do you? How do you feel about you know the pressure of a playoff hockey game? I this is what you play for. You play to you know try to play this time of the year, and you want to go as long as you can. You know we want to play right till June twentieth or whatever the final game is. So you know it starts tomorrow night. Greg, that was a solid week of practice. Uh, how did the last one finish up? It finished well. I thought uh, our team is excited for tomorrow. Uh, throughout the week, we've been trending in the right direction with our intensity, our energy, our spirit. Uh, we've been waiting a long time to get into our first playoff game, and now that we're on the eve of it, you can tell the excitement in the room. Do you get a sense that uh, for some of these guys who haven't seen professional playoffs that there is uh, that in the back of their mind that it's weighing on them a little bit just to get into this one? Uh, tough to say where each individual player is at uh, in their mindset, and whether it's their... Uh, eighth experience or the first experience, um, you can just tell that we're excited to play and, and looking forward to the challenge ahead. I mean, just talking to Logan Shaw, who said, you know, it's been 10 years for him. Any time that you get a chance to play extra games in the season, you're going to throw your arms around it uh, for you as well. Yeah, I remember as a player and now in coaching, it's really hard to get to the postseason. It doesn't come around every year. Uh, you know, really proud of the group for the regular season that we had, and there's a lot of accomplishments and things to be proud of. And uh, now it's to take advantage of an opportunity that who knows when the next one is and to go out and lay it on the line for each other. What do you look for from your club in those opening minutes? Pace, energy, uh, just making sure we're smart with managing the puck and um, 
you know, we don't want to ease our way into the game. We want to take it to them with our excitement, uh, but also uh, have a plan on how we're keeping them at bay, how we're not allowing them an open ice, we're not allowing them momentum on, uh, on the entries as they, they score a lot off the rush. And, um, you know, just execution of, of what we can do to capitalize against them. Logan was saying too, like, especially with the young guys who haven't been in a playoff game, you know, just enjoy it. Is there any message you try to send to those guys who haven't been in a playoff game yet? No, we've tried to keep the messaging uh, sharp, crisp, uh, intentional up to this point, uh, being very direct with how much it's going to take to play uh, in the postseason. Tomorrow's more. Uh, reminders uh, with a, a bit of a lighthearted energy to break some of the nerves and make sure that they're feeling good about themselves tomorrow. Are you having fun? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, it, you can get lost in that. Uh, maybe the, the stress or the pressure you put on yourself and, and how badly you want to be successful in the postseason. You can uh, lose yourself in the fun, but uh, this is a great group of guys, and I felt like this week of practice, uh, everyone's done a really good job of bringing that, that fun energy uh, and making sure that, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we get to play a sport for a living and um, focus on being light so that we can make more plays. How would you describe Joseph Landisi's leadership style? Boisterous, energetic. Uh, he's kind of the glue that sticks everyone together in the room. He uh, brings... Uh, some comedy and some lighthearted energy, which will be needed tomorrow. And um, could you update me on a few of the injuries? So Mac Hollowell looks like he's good to go. Is he at that level? <laughs> uh, yeah, he's medically cleared to play. Uh, we'll see what the lineup looks tomorrow. In terms of lineup, um, obviously the game's not till tomorrow, but how hard has it been amongst the staff, like trying to decide what the lineup will be? Yeah, I think most people, if they actually knew how much time we spent talking about it, <laughs> uh, they'd, they'd be kind of baffled. Um, you know, we want to make sure that we're talking through the right processes and putting our team in the best place to have success. Uh, so there's a lot of dynamics to look through, and I feel like we've done a good job uh, to this point going into game one and preparing ourselves. And lastly, how do you think Crookshank has um, meshed into the lineup and the group? Good. He brings a lot of energy, and in the role that he's going to play, he's just going to have to be physical, smart with our structure, uh, bring energy on and off the ice. And uh, you know, he hasn't had a lot of time with our team uh, in gameplay, uh, so it's just being responsible and continuing continuing to earn that trust with his players or with his teammates and the staff to gain more opportunity. Have you decided who's starting tomorrow? Uh, yes, we have decided. Uh, we'll find out tomorrow.